What's good, YouTube family? This your God bless one. Thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop Live. Look, ladies and gentlemen, hit that like button, hit that notification bell. Today's show, we're gonna show you a clip, and I'm not gonna really talk a lot. We're gonna listen to my good friend. Well, he doesn't know me in real life. Maybe he does. I know his one of his producers. Shout out to CT Reed. You know, I mean, one of the real ones in the comment section of the Craig Facts podcast. You know, also a, a, a sister company of the 5150. Just, just same family stuff. You know, Craig made his own self, but I, I, I learned about Craig through the 5150 and all deaf digital comedy. But anyways, fast forward, they get talking about Tyreek Nasheed. You know what I mean? They get to the talking about Tyreek Nasheed. Sheed. And it, and it doesn't sit well with some of the cast members on the show Because Tyreek to a lot of people is somebody who means something I guess so, but let me fast forward and get to them talking about Tyreek Tyreek, what about him? Alright Okay, as a black man, one of the things that defines you is your interpretation of value and what, what's valuable to you? What, what's meaning for you? What's something meaningful to you? Because there's certain shit that a nigga, another man, will pay a million dollars for that I wouldn't even spit on. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? And, you know, Tariq being one of them dudes that I really fuck with heavy, I know he just raised a million dollars, you know what I mean, for the museum, but now I'm seeing he rolling around in a new Bentley. <laughs> <laughs> he raised a meal ticket. <laughs> And it looked like he's sliding back into Pippin. Maybe a huge. Is it a huge? Uh, thing? Nigga, yeah. it's a. He had that before the museum. He got another one, is what I heard. Yeah. He, had, he, he got had another one. Yeah, he, he was rolling around that, in that thing like all year. Okay. They just so. raised a million dollars like a month ago. Okay. So he was on Instagram like back in January to Bentley. But my thing is this. So we, 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 you know, we, we come from, we come from, you know, Kemet, Ethiopia. I mean, whatever you want to call it, right? So if we dictate to ourselves what is valuable, what kind of message does that send of him flossing European luxuries and he's supposed to be somebody at the precipice of black issues? What kind of message is that sending to niggas who can't, who can't afford that type of stuff? Why is he putting that type of imagery, imagery out there being one of the most intelligent People that I probably have come I tell you, across. Can I, why is he? I tell you, can I, I tell you. Can I, sure he got a can, can, I ask, can I ask you real quick? Are you are you upset with the, him having the car or him showing us that he has the car? I'm upset with the imagery. I don't care that he has the whip. Okay. I want every black man to win, eat, and but buy you, what he wants. Did, did what he show the whip or did you? Have he the, showed the whip. Would have been cool if he had a cutlass. It, for me, a person <laughs> in his position, a yeah. person in his position that has marketed himself the way he has marketed yeah. should never have European luxuries at the forefront of anything he's doing, especially when he's vying for finance to to fund things from us. So let, me, let me let me ask a question. He's getting caught in the. You saying he's doing the brother polite? Nah, cause he nah, ain't no big. No, no, no brother polite, keep it real too. But, but no, brother polite, how real you? Let me ask the question. How real you keep it? If you fucking on babies, you a that's part. That's different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. It's more yeah. that's so, different. Yeah, that's polite name yeah. can't even be brought up in my presence till we figure out if this is real or not. Cause yeah, child molestation, homie, is that's not forgivable on any level. No matter what money you got. Let me answer the question. It's like, you know, the answer lies within the question. In the in the initial question you asked, uh, what does it show about perception, people's perception? What did we just finish talking about when it came to language? Perception is everybody's to own. The problem in America right now is people are outsourcing their perception to what other people think. And if you outsource your perception to other people's ideals and thoughts of you, you've then given up your power. True power, true empowerment is like we said, before we get to black empowerment, we gotta get to self empowerment. And self empowerment includes Not you. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> self empowerment means you living life by your own by your own vibration and being cool with that. And if somebody else has a problem with that, that's their problem. See, this this is what people like Tariq talks about when, it, and not just Tariq, people before him. When it comes to uh, when Marcus it comes, Garvey bought boats. The niggas were stupid for that, <laughs> but he was a brilliant guy. But no, but Great what leader. I'm saying is this. The people should never be look. First of all, you should never look at somebody else to be a leader. You take information from people and you lead your goddamn self. Second, when it comes to that, when it comes to people buying things, if you make your money, the motherfucker was rich before we knew who he was. 
So are you now supposed to, because you, you created hidden colors, you're now supposed to downgrade your lifestyle so you can be a poor righteous teacher, or do you keep doing doing you and you tell other people empower yourself so you can get to where I am? He said be rich, just don't be rich with the Europeans. How do you can but how can how can me as a you person can, you can't how can me call as a person coon and purchase coon? No, no, <laughs> you can't purchase like a coon and call other niggas a coon. How is uh, so, so buying a kind of money and I like that car? What's wrong with that? But what I'm saying so is this. But if you're if you're hidden colors was number listen, one for like two years. But listen, if your if your message is that white supremacy is the enemy. That's the that's the he pushing, and it got to be an enemy on all fronts. Now I'm not, I don't want Ari. I but get we don't it. make cars. Right, right. I get it. Exactly. <laughs> we don't make cars. Goddamn lie! I got a Lolo at the house that's right what I'm now. Saying. I cut it. Did I everything myself. I don't you don't want it. That's that's, 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 not, that's, that's not your perception. perception. <laughs> black perception is anything black is going to be here. That European shit up here. That's what I'm talking about. That's that's what but we, we don't make cars. We don't make cars. Okay, listen. What I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. So. We don't make any kind of no black man that has engineered no, no kind of car. No, so there's no cars. there's no body shops that's doing no kind of restoration no, no cars none of that. It's still a European car. That's not that's, that's, here. No, no, no. no I'm taking the shell and rebuilding the fucking car. A black man built that car, nigga. <laughs> well, who made the parts? It's Europeans nigga, it's, oh, or Japanese? Go, yeah. <laughs> Every time we go, I'm just saying. If we gonna if you, you gonna go about there, building one from scratch. I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. The nigga but saying I'm saying this. Ride around an ATV. <laughs> Are we not? We really not. What we saying is, we saying we saying when niggas is, is in Bentleys and we got big chains on and we got big diamonds in our ear and all that shit. And then we talking about yeah, the white man this, the white man that. That's the same thing we seeing over here with this Jesus shit. That's saying oh. Hey, if you don't get this money up, if you don't play these ties, you ain't gonna get here. You can't and talk this... like Malcolm X and purchase like fuck that. But you know, <laughs> here, no, 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 when you listen to when you truly listen to what a brother like Tariq is saying, he's all he he follows the teachings of Carl Anderson. And I read black I read I read Black Labor White Wealth in ninety three, bef way before I knew who the fuck Tariq was. Carl Anderson came to my church when I was a kid. So what you talk about is self empowerment. You solve white supremacy, not through begging white people for things, right. through empowering yourself. And you start with economic self empowerment. Yeah. You create a way to make money. So then you can make money independent of the system, and the best way to do that is through business. Besides ego, tell me how purchasing an ego is empower, uh, Bentley is empowering. No, when it comes down to look, 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 it comes, it comes, it comes down to it comes, it comes down to your level. Like you buy the best what you can afford at whatever level you can afford. Mm -hmm. Two weeks ago, I bought a brand new Honda Accord Touring, the highest one that they got. I once had an Audi A6, and I've always been on my A6 on my, on my shit. I was 23 years old with a seventy thousand dollar Audi, so. When it, you like Did certain have people. a refrigerator? Hell, I, I wish. <laughs> I wish. I wish. I wish. I wish, Craig. But. No. He said the refrigerator costs more than the car. Hey, but you know what? Hey, but you know what? I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm about to stun on you niggas. I'm about to stun on you niggas. That was after I bought a six hundred nine thousand dollar house at the age of twenty three while I was in college. Oh, I bought the Audi cool. after I bought the house in, in Pasadena. Yeah. Smart nigga. At the end of a cul de sac. Smart nigga. So Last right? semester of college. Is, so what? Uh, yeah. Right, 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 right. That's what I'm saying. Right, right, right. So what, what I'm saying is, <laughs> what I'm saying is, when you make it, you're gonna spend to the level you can afford it. Exactly. Now, if a black person, if there was a black Audi equivalent. 100% I'm gonna buy that black Audi equivalent. But I know even though I got a Japanese car, the Japanese were, they partnered with the Nazis in World War II. So me buying a Japanese car, I know I'm still supporting white supremacy. Right. We all support Unless white supremacy. You got a J but on the VIN number. <laughs> all Japanese cars with a J on the VIN number are manufactured in Japan. Okay, <laughs> but okay, mine was mine was actually mine was manufactured in Alabama. That's supporting yeah, white supremacy. Yeah, yeah. Well, you motherfucking cool. <laughs> <laughs> so you're right, Craig. You're right. Oh, hey, Craig looks like a Craig, right. Craig, Craig like a Craig look like a retired pelican. The whole but, the only thing though was when we spent when we spent more than what we got. Yes. You know what I'm saying? That's the whole cooning purchase. If you can't afford it, 
Don't get you know upset. Yeah. Can I ask your question is? Can I, can I so, so we talking like this. So so when the little kids, rappers and shit, and they putting stacks of money to their ear and they got diamonds, they they doing all this shit because they see niggas driving Bentleys, they want to get there already. <coughs> Are we preaching? Financial responsibility? Or are we preaching floss on these niggas? When I'm a, I'm a, that's that's what I'm let me answer that question. I'm gonna I'm I'm answer that by saying we gotta stop letting people be dumbasses and let that right. get off no, on no, us. Because you know, no, 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 no. no. I'm answering. No, no, no. I'm answering your question. I'm answer, I started with that. I'm finishing with this. You gotta look at the person's whole. Now, if you take the Bentley and you don't take the fact and you don't take putting out information that changed the culture along with that. Right. If you don't take using your once you got an opportunity. Because once Tariq got his opportunity to get in with the audience, yeah. he didn't come in with no buy diamonds, buy jewelry. He taught us who he was as a people. But when he so was my born, thing is this: whenever I mean, this is the mess of the kids, for you. the people listening, you listen to, you watch the whole of a person. Nobody's gonna be perfect, but if they contribute more than they take, then we good because nobody can do everything that we want. But, but now if your music he, is the cool all day, then you got the money I, phone. I don't think what he did. I don't think buying the Bentley was wrong. I'm a, I fuck with Rashid. I mean, I'm a Tariq. I don't know the nigga personally or whatever, but I like it. I like who he is. I just think that this messaging is not in alignment with what he's been bringing to us for a while. He's never been a broke nigga he's, or none of that, but I just don't like the messaging. And then on top of that, with the whole school situation, I just felt like it was insensitive knowing what the other brother was projected as being doing, stealing money or whatever. And I'm not saying that, uh, what's the other nigga's name? Uh, Dr. Umar. Dr. Umar. I'm not saying that Umar was stealing or anything, but you being privy to that information and then in the beef with him, you brought that up a few times. You did bring that up. For a you lot to of times. for you to then get in a situation where you okay. get the bread and you spend the money on that, that's cool. But then to put it on social media to me is just But he's been that for a couple of years cool. now. He's been like he's been rolling around in Bentley's on Instagram for a few years now. Yeah. I, my thing is this. You know, you know what he shows me. You know, you, you know what that. You know what you, you know what that. You, you know, you know what that shows me, Blaze. You know what that shows me. It shows me as a person that that puts out independent content. That if we fuck with the people and we bet on black people, black people have always ri ri uh, risen us to to the tops. Dick Gregory said that. That's why Dick Gregory always said that he he does he talks to black people now because. It took black people for him to get that white money. You would have bought the Bentley? My, hell yeah, I bought the Bentley. Three of them. My thing is this. The, when, you, when, 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 you, when, you, when you bet on black, it, it, shows me when, it shows me when you bet on black, you can get the Bentley just like the person that sold out to white. You either way, you get a Bentley either way. Bentley, but it's not just making the money; yeah. it's how you spend it. <laughs> but if you, so but we'll, you spend it on again, we, we, how Blaze said, if I can afford it, what's the issue? But no, because right, you're trying right, to fight. You're right. preaching fighting against white tyranny. So, what does so, that have? So, so, so what does that have to do with me okay, being me able to you. afford whatever car? Let me tell you why. So if you're spinning with the same company that you're talking shit about, shut up. He never said anything. Okay, so talking shit about Bentley. So he, so he, so all the car companies he talked shit about. He never said anybody car company. Okay, all right. Do, do we sleep? In okay, the we dirt? talked about the Detroit. Does he not Detroit, Detroit all that shit. Toxic. Toxic. Apparently, it's Volkswagen. Right, right, right. What they gotta do? Right, right. 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 his whole angle is his whole angle is learn black people to know yourself. So we get that's his whole angle. His whole angle ain't fuck them. His whole angle is learn you. So he, so it's not fuck. It's not fuck white supremacy. Then. Let me know. What is the difference between that and a good rap? I'm not, I mean, because yeah. we always yeah. talk about the bad rapper. What yeah. about the good rapper that does work people? He's driving the Bentley. I think, I think, what, what's the, I think Tariq deserves for the work he's driving the Bentley. But my thing is this. Hey, I'm answering Brown's question. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I just thought, I think the, I, I think the work <laughs> Tariq has been putting in is glorious. I feel like he deserves that. Yeah. And he's been giving himself those types of luxuries for a while. I just don't know if being on the front line of black issues in the state we're in, I don't know if it's just, I just don't know if that's good imaging for a front line let, soldier. Let, and I'll turn around let, during the fight, nigga, yeah. and, and, and dancing. Hey, Craig. <laughs> Pretty much, it's no real. I don't, look, I give a fuck about you and the message. I don't care about the bending, but I don't want to see no touchdown dances and the game ain't over yet. This is where, this, this, this is where I got to call bullshit on black folks when, who, uh, when it comes to that. On when everybody? You know, black folks with that ideology. Oh, what I, what on I, the ide ideology of looking at what a person has. Well, this is why I got to call this. This, 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 this is why. What about this? this, this here's, yeah. here's the reason why. Here's why do niggas get jacked? Here's, <laughs> because they get online showing show niggas what they, what they have. Exactly. Here is the reason why I call bullshit on that. <laughs> all of them. Here's the reason why I call bullshit on that. 
Because Malcolm X and Martin Luther King both died broke, and I never saw black people give a concerted effort to make sure that family is good. Right. The reason why Martin Luther King's all, all his kids, the reason why half of them are coons, is because they gotta they gotta make that money. Right. We ain't giving them no goddamn money. Right. So a black person, we will get a poor righteous teacher. We will get one that sacrificed the money, and we ain't putting no money in their pocket. Right. Dr. John Henry Clark died broke. Dr. Ben was in a goddamn convalescent home. I mean, when all of our master teachers that died in the 90s and the 2000s for all this black and bottle shit, you shouldn't get a Bentley. Our master teachers died broke. And I'm going to get you All I want to say is this. When it comes to Tariq, Tariq found a way to teach us our information. Because he didn't tell us that Dr. John Henry Clark and Dr. Ben Sertiman didn't say. But instead of putting it in a book, he found a way to make it entertaining into a video. He made his money off of an honest off of an honest sale. I am selling you a product. And the shit was numbered, hitting this last hit in color was number five for like two months. I'm number one for like two months. I'm not taking it. So I'm saying is this. So if you, no, 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 I'm not saying take it away. You can spend money like a coon. I'm not saying. You can spend money like a coon. And a lot of niggas can't, listen, and my point is, niggas can't be above reproach, bro. We cannot, any nigga that's calling himself a leader, we should be able to question anything. He doesn't call himself a leader. Well, anything, if he's out in that position, Taking leadership roles, building fucking the museums and shit. That's a leadership role. Right. That means I know this. I'm finna. Nigga's not Charles Barkley. He's hey, do you know the do you, do you know the CEO of LACMA? This motherfucker just in his, was, it was the, the CEO. We talking about museums, right? The CEO of LACMA just this past uh, February. This motherfucker, we found this motherfucker has Bentleys. This motherfucker has a house in Homeby Hills. Paid for by the people who are donating to the museum. That's some foul shit. But Tariq ain't foul. I don't think Tariq is foul. What I'm saying is the people who run the museums, these niggas is living in Beverly Hills off the donations from the museums. Okay, my thing is this. If, if I'm a person that is putting out a certain thing, a certain imagery, we're fighting for black empowerment. For me personally, I just don't see strategically how the imagery of a, of, a, of a of black male, the one being Tariq, in a Bentley on selfie mode. You know what I'm saying? I just don't feel. I don't see how that contributes. Somebody the, asked that I donate. Yes, I donated a thousand dollars. You will see my name on the wall of that museum. <laughs> and on top of that, motherfucker, I got asked to be a part of the um, of the music part of that they museum. Still let Jada uh, 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 no, nah, they don't run shit up in there. That's why y'all watching. The reason I asked that question is because um, a lot of times, black person, all of a sudden you gotta sell your soul. No, Jay Z, Beyonce, all the, the, what they call that shit, the Illuminati. Illuminati, we right. We always put ourselves as a people with something that's evil a, attached to big success. That's, that's, right. about, that's fear. We don't care about no, um, the, the, the Warren Buffett's and none of that shit. Right, right. Oh, he sold his soul right, so right. he can sell Google. Right, no, we're right. the only people that do that to each other. Right. And I think that's another thing that's been implanted in us. Right. So therefore, when you see us doing these type of things, we automatically feel like, it's not supposed to be us. Mm -hmm. right. Why it ain't supposed to be us? Yeah, right. see, I don't, that's not, see, I, feel, I agree I with that agree 100%. With but that's not the point we're making. We're, I'm making the point to where it is. If, if it's money being taken from black people in the name of helping black people, mm -hmm. and you, you have a certain, like, you have a certain uh, uh, mystique about you, you know what I'm saying? So he can, I want this man to make as much money as he want to. But the it. thing about Warren Buffett, the thing about Jeff Bezos, the thing about Bill Gates, they're not on fucking Instagram on a fucking Bentley, bro. They're not doing this in, they, you're not going to catch Jeff Bezos, the richest man in the world, like this, with a stack of money. Because you know why? Because he understands that's not how to get the next generation of young white men into the business mind. They need to see how shit is moving. They right. need to see what's really going on behind the scenes. That's cool. For imagery, it's cool to it's always we always need. That's what I'm saying. We always talk about imagery. Right. That's cool for imagery, but the know how. I can look at a, a movie with no words and guess what's going on. Right. Turn on that sound so I can actually see what's going. So I can have a real breakdown of what's happening. So I can really get myself in the game. So you saying he ain't giving you no know how? He ain't I'm not teaching. asking them to do that. I'm He's saying if I'm well, we we were comparing. <laughs> we were comparing the millionaires. Good, but, but them but ships go like years. Rights leader. Tariq is a civil rights leader. So Regardless, he don't call himself that. So what civil rights mobile do he drive? 
Yeah, this nigga need to be in a regal or some type of old school. This is the thing. I don't care what he got. That's Coonan. That's Coonan. That's Coonan right there. Thank you. Hey, that's what I wanted to hear because that's all that could be what? said. Exactly. Because y'all want a nigga to look like he, he made a dollar. That's what you want to see. Every reiterate to niggas that's not no, listening. No, no, that's not what no, I'm no, saying. No, no. Why do you think <laughs> in war? Why do you think in war they not wearing regular clothes and driving regular cars? Man, right. They driving Humvees. Right. They got on. They got on militia uniforms. Shit that uh, blends you in with the environment. Craig, I got a question. Hold on. Hold on. So the reason that you put on this uniform is because you at war. It right. don't look like Tariq. Is at war no more so look, with this picture. Hey, hey, it looks like he's so No question. Yeah. Question. It's over. No, 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 a certain level stature. where he can do that, nigga, get your game up. Right. Hey, Craig, Craig, right. no, I want to say that. Look, you're right. The people on, right. that, that's fighting the war with the guns, they wearing a certain thing. Right. But what are the army generals wearing? Right. Not even that. The no. generals are wearing, the generals are coming suited and booty. You better come, you what? better be dirty as a general. Hey, well, hold on, though. Not even <laughs> that. a general now? You got the football You call him a leader? We got football you players football? on the field. With hold gear. on, what are, you, what are you, hold on, niggas in here talking about the hate is real. <laughs> Let oh, me tell you a whole ass nigga something, man. <laughs> Everything is up for discussion, my nigga. Respect. In the world of men, you just can't you just can't put something out there and and expect real niggas to take it in and not have something to say about it. That don't mean that a nigga hating or I support Tariq, bro. If he wanna if he wanna come to the show, I go. It's all love. What I'm saying is, as as a man, everything is in question. Let me everything is in question. If you're not doing something that's solid or appears not to be solid, it's my responsibility as a real man to question that. If you a stand up nigga, which Tariq is. The response is going to be stand up. It's nothing to worry about. But if I see something, I'm not going to just sit here and, and take it. I'm, I'm, I'm a, Craig, that ain't that ain't, if, if he put this museum out, I want to say if he put this museum out, then this is all dead, right? Uh, well, I, I mean, yeah. still an issue. Yeah, definitely. I want to say. Well, I'm just saying he spoke up on the other homie that was supposed to put the school out when they was uh, beefing. Right. So as a nigga, as a nigga on the outside of the circle, I'm like, out. but what I'm saying is this: at nigga when, in the hood, you're in the pen, wherever you are, if you standing on something. Which he stood on with old boy before, right. and then now you under the spotlight, yeah, and that, and now the rule don't apply to you. That's a problem. Hey, Craig, I got two things to say to that. First of all, first of all, when it came to that, Umar called him out first. But you know, you know the rules of the streets. You, once you call me out, you can't get your how I respond. So we we got to start from the start, not from not from. We got to start from one, not two. But when it comes to the museum, I, yeah, I donated a grand for that Tariq Museum, but I also I'm a yearly donor to Lackma L.A. County Museum of Art because they have jazz every Saturday uh, in the summer, and I donate to that. I donate to PBS, and I donate to, uh, I donate to a few museums. Right. And each one of those museums, out of, the, out of the donations I give to those museums, these people are getting houses in Mulholland and Beverly Hills, paid for by the museum, the, the people who run these museums, the people who run LACMA, they get, they get an allowance of over 250 grand a year. So if I'm not gonna question that when I donate to these white folks museums, if a, if a person that's black want to open museum and he buying a Bentley, I'm not going to change the rules because he's black. But I'm so not quite. question the white people. Because I understand that. Because I under, First of all, I understand that when it comes to donating to these museums, so that's a whole hustle my, in let itself. Me tell, let me so, tell you. Let me, so, but my thing is this. But he's bummed said, but no, you don't want to question it because in, re, in exchange, I'm getting everything. information. Yeah, and what I do as a teacher, hey, I, as a person, as a teacher, I value information. Exchange, I I'm getting everything. information. Gaining a little ground because you feel like I ain't paying attention, but I'm paying attention. This has got nothing to do with Tariq making the money. I support Tariq, but ain't no nigga. We public figures, bro. If you do something publicly that's a little different, I'm going to question it. That don't mean I'm against. No, I ain't against nobody, but a lot of these whole ass niggas is scary. <laughs> they, 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 I hear you, Greg. I hear you, Greg. Tariq a big yeah. nigga. He's 6'4", 270. I'm 6'2", 260, nigga. It, that's not a... The size thing ain't an issue with me. This is this is purely on me being a fan of Tariq, loving his work, and, and putting it out there like, hey, you know what I'm saying? Maybe that's not the right imagery for our people, but I'm not... I think we don't got black people. We like one of the hoodies. You know what I'm saying? Man, salute to that man, Craig Fags, educational purpose. Salute to him and his show and what they got going on out here, man. 
salute to all that, man. Subscribe to him right now, man. Subscribe to the information that's going to be in the description box and all that. Shout out to everybody on that squad. You know, the whole clique is doing their thing, man. Salute to everybody up in this piece. I'll put all their Instagrams on this video, man. I'm your God bless one. Thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop Live. Love your family, love your kids, and stay blessed, gang. You can go to my Instagram at DJ underscore bless one to find all I Smoke Hip Hop Live content and create it. And if you have any information, or situation about the video and you would like me to take the video down if you're a particular person in this video contact my email or instagram or twitter and i will abruptly contact you and, and confirm it to you and i'll definitely follow suit i am a man first and i respect all individuals and people out there salute to all of y'all love your family love your kids and stay blessed gang